This evening we received a call of a shooting here at the intersection of West Lawn and Meadowbrook. Officers arrived and found a 16-year-old male in the street. Um, immediately uh, began, began life-saving measures at that point there. Um, LifeNet um, arrived shortly afterwards and uh, he was uh, pronounced dead then. Um, we're still investigating leads on this. Um, details are a little sparse right now, but we do know uh, that this stemmed from a uh, fight that occurred in Arkansas earlier in the day. Uh, we, um, the fight apparently continued over here. Uh, two carloads of individuals, young people, uh, came over here and there was a fight here in the street, uh, which resulted in um, the victim, the 16 year old victim being shot once in the chest and dying at the scene. Was a 16 year old involved in the fight? We're still trying to interview, still trying to interview the uh, witnesses out here to determine exactly what happened. It's still very early in the investigation, um, but we don't know that yet, but we hope to hear very soon. Is this a continuation of the fight that's been going on over the past two or three weeks? Uh, we do know that this was a, apparently the continuation of a fight um, that was arranged, I think, over social media that happened in Arkansas earlier today. I uh, don't know if there's any ties to anything else, but we do know that it was uh, it, at least some, some tie back to, to that fight that, was, that happened earlier in the day in Arkansas. You said it was arranged over social media. Can you explain that? Um, from what I understand, there was uh, uh, some type of post that was made earlier arranging for the, the earlier fight. I think that was between uh, some females. Um, this fight here, uh, some group that was involved in that in some way um, showed up over here and, and continued to fight there. There was a physical altercation uh, here in the street, I understand, and then uh, ultimately resulting in the 16-year-old being shot. I know in some of these older cases you were able to find like multiple shell casings and those types of things. Were those was that a part of this at all? Um, I don't know. Uh, I do know that the crime scene and the detectives are on scene right now. Uh, this is very, uh, very new investigation in terms of time, so uh, they're, they're still evaluating that. But I'm, if they're there, I'm sure that they will find it. How many shots fired here? That I don't know. I do know that uh, the young man was shot once, though. Is he from here? He is from Texarkana, Texas, yes. I'm not releasing the name yet, I guess. Um, I can. He is... How old is he? 16. Uh, you can, yeah, I wouldn't, and I'm not telling you what to do. Well, with him, I mean, he, he's 16. Next of kin has been notified. Um, so, I mean, I'm, I'm prepared to release a name. Um, Notorious Crabtree. Can you spell that first name? Uh, we believe it's N-Y-T-O-R-I-U-S Crabtree. C-R-A-B-T-R-E-E. -E. Do we know where you went to school? I uh, do not. I do know that he lives in Texas, kind of Texas, but I don't know which school district he goes to. Uh, where in Arkansas you've been referencing fights in Arkansas? Uh, that I don't know. I was just told that this was a continuation of some type of altercation uh, fight between females that had happened earlier uh, in the day or maybe this evening uh, than they showed up over here. The females showed up over here? I'm not sure. I know that there were two cars. Uh, of individuals that came to this location, but I don't know if it involved females or males or some kind of combination thereof. I mean, I guess you're looking at rest, or do you know? Well, we were obviously there. Were, there were several people here. Uh, we're interviewing a lot of uh, witnesses at this point, trying to uh, establish or figure out who who was involved, uh, obviously, and who was the shooter as well. Uh, but we hope to be able to do that very quickly and, and hopefully be able to have a little clearer view uh, in terms of what happened out here tonight.